Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at an article dated October 30th of 2020 about a strange pulse that's been detected in this area. We're going to come back and, and take a closer look at this here in just a moment, but apparently this has been going on every 26 seconds for the past 50 years. I'll take a look at that story here in just a moment. First, we're looking at a photo that was shared with me by Paul out of Toronto. Toronto, this is the city here you see in the photograph, almost looks like one of those photos where you see a mirage of a city in the sky. However, this is from an airplane. Paul took this photograph of Toronto submerged in clouds. They were so low, the buildings were taller than the clouds themselves. Fascinating photo sent in by Paul out of Toronto also have some odd mutations I want to share with you guys. Different photos that have been sent in here recently of some very unusual observations. also have a brand new picture slideshow. New sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, checking out the Schumann Resonance. A little bit of activity in the past 24 hours. Most of this can be traced back to the sun. Solar activity is increasing. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera. A little bit of activity as we've been seeing here for the past few months. Kind of like the pulse that we're going to read about in this story. We're seeing the same type of energy over here at the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera. This is something fairly new. I mean, I would kind of expect a little bit of activity from a supervolcano. And this has been going on now for the better part of, I don't know, maybe a year. A steady flow of energy, especially in the northwest corner of the supervolcano caldera. We also have an absence of data at the lake seismograph, which itself is very interesting. But I want to go back to this article I mentioned earlier, dated October 30th of 2020. It talks about Earth keeps pulsating every 26 seconds. No one knows why. Article over here at popularmechanics.com. Earth makes a tiny seismic rumble every 26 seconds. Why is Earth pulsating every 26 seconds? And why can't scientists explain it after 60 years? This is an enigma wrapped in a periodically predictable mystery motion. It could be a harmonic phenomenon, a regular seismic chirp caused by the sun's energy, or a beacon drawing scientists to its source to begin a treasure hunt. Back in the early 1960s, a geologist named Jack Oliver first documented the pulse, also known as a micro -seism. Oliver, who worked at Columbia University, heard the noise, but did not at the time have any advanced instruments at his disposal. Since then, scientists have spent a lot of time listening to the pulse and even finding out where it comes from. And where it comes from is this area right here off the west coast of Africa. And it's near a chain of volcanoes, one being a very large 10,000 foot shield volcano and they do mention that here in this article that you can find linked below in the description box and it's very interesting because it takes me back to Yellowstone and if you look at say this one here the, the seismo over here at Grayling Creek the activity or these pulses if you will and that's kind of what they remind me of are more prevalent during the daytime than they are at night and it mentioned in this article about this pulse that they've been listening to for apparently 60 years. It's consistent. It's on a 26 second interval. Um, but they did mention how it could be possibly influenced by the sun. That's just a, a possibility. I don't know if that's the case. But I do notice that trend over there at the Yellowstone supervolcano. It, it does show a link to the sun. But this in itself is very interesting because they don't know the exact source of this 26 second pulse that apparently has been going on for a long, long time. Fascinating article you can find, link below in the description box. Speaking of fascinating, I've received some unusual photos lately. You've probably seen this one already of a vine growing out of the inside of a ripe tomato sent in by Kathy. Um, that's a seed that has sprouted. I also got some tomatoes sent in by Paula and Gary. That's why I put this little video segment together because I received these here recently of more sprouts coming from inside of a tomato. They had no idea this was going on until they sliced the tomatoes open. And not only was it in one tomato, it was in several. Look at that right there. Unreal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
That's a lot of sprouts inside those tomatoes. And they were quite surprised too. They weren't growing out of the tomatoes. These here were contained inside the tomato, unlike the one that I showed you at the beginning. We also noticed some leaves sprouting on seeds on the surface of strawberries still on the vine. And these strawberries weren't even ripe yet. So the seeds here also sprouting. South Africa, Medell, this is just another example of some sort of a strange mutant clover that was over three inches long. Chris out of Martinsburg, West Virginia. Notice these odd mushrooms growing in his backyard in a tree stump. And I've received other ones too. I've received some strange carrots and, and just a variety of different things. But those are the ones that I've received uh, most recently. And I just wanted to pass those on because, again, you know, they're just too good not to share. Speaking of good photos, here's some new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Here's the one we just looked at. Paul from Toronto submerged in a tsunami of clouds. Buildings taller than the clouds themselves. Pam B. out of Idaho Falls, Idaho. She was describing this as a, a cloud that looked like a big ship in the sky, and I agree, because it's the only cloud in the sky. Good observation, Pam. Thanks for sharing. Stone P. out of Michigan. Fiery orange sky. Another photo by Stone P. out of Michigan. Long roll cloud before a storm was rolling in. Bob H. out of Arlington, Texas. Very unique sky there. Santan Valley, Arizona. Arissa noticed a horizontal rainbow in the sky, or at least a part of one. Charm, Ohio. Joe S. Big sun dog off to the right of the sun. And then a very intense double-decker rainbow. New South Wales, Australia, Stacy W. Check out this sky here, these clouds, and there's a lot of them, just loaded with color. We see this from time to time, but, but usually the, the clouds are, are generally closer to the sun. These are spread out through the sky, very colorful clouds above Australia. Another one from Australia, New South Wales, colorful clouds. This time they're bright orange and, and gold. Here's a storm cloud with a very unique shape. These are sent in by Rick from New South Wales. See what I mean by the, the colorful clouds kind of closer to the sun? I took this photo myself right out here in Arizona, and I noticed the color in the clouds in the proximity of the sun, not across the entire sky. That one from Australia was very unique, but these were very intense. See how intense the colors were in the proximity of the sun? More colors in the sky. Tennessee, sent in by Faye and Lee. These are like a purple and blue and lavender, where mine was more of, of an orange color. Mark out of Alabama. Bright pink and purple skies. Here it's kind of got a, a orange tint to it. It's changing colors as the sun was setting. Another spectacular photo out of Australia sent in by Lane. Look at that. Lane, once again, the sky went from gold to orange. Lancaster, California. Mark. Looked like a big dragon, fire-breathing dragon up in the sky. How about that? Leo out of Park City, Utah. Big halo around the sun with a lot of personality. Golden, Colorado, Laura H. Big bright orange cloud up in the sky. Pretty much all by itself. Ken F. out of Phoenix, Arizona. Another fiery orange sunset from Phoenix. Same type of sky by Karen out of Claremont, Florida. Lincoln, United Kingdom, James Full moon on October 31st with a bird flying in front of the moon. Good job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.